Hello everyone, in this experiment we will study how to configure the switch. We have taken a simple network which we have studied in the previous videos that how to design a network uh, by connecting two switches and how to give the IP addresses and how to check the connectivity between this PC1 and PC0 and PC1. So let's start with the giving the com using the command line interface to the switch. So we can click on the switch, go to the CLI command. That is command line interface. First we have to enable the switch. Once the switch is enabled, we can just see the uh, it is changed with the hash symbol. Then we can just config the terminal by using a simple command as configure configure terminal so we got the switch which is configured now we can just give the host name by using a simple command as a host name yes yes so we'll give So here you can see the switch S2 with the configure command. Then we can just to give to give the password for the switch while enabling that switch by any other login we need to give a password. Before that we can give the line console. So here we get the configuration of the switch with the line console. Now we can set some passwords to log in into the switch so we can just see that password let me in which is easy to remember then we can just keep the command then just we can see that it is the command for the login and we can exit from this prompt or this configure line So here we can see there is a message as configured from console by console. Now we can check or verify how it is secure. So here you can just see if will you is exit command or enable it will be showing that press return to get started. So it will ask when you press enter it will ask for the user access verification so here we can give the password as let me in So once we give the password as let me in, we can go to the switch or the switch command, it will be enabled. Now we can see the more production for the switch or we can see, see the privileged mode access of the switch. So again we have used the same commands to configure the terminal again and now we will give some other passwords. Or you can say like two step verification passwords. It should be one number, then one small letter, one symbol, and one capital letter. So here we have given the password set the password as a Cisco we can just see by using exit command it will be showing that it is configured from console now let's verify the passwords which are set just again use the exit command it will ask for the 
press return to get started so we first we have to give the password which had which we had set at the first that is let me in then we have to give the password what we have set for as a privileged password cisco to the previous password were wrong now here we can just see the user access verification so we have given here let me in password and when we enable that time you can give the password as cisco c1 yeah. so here we will get the switch configuration line enable the switch okay we can use one command to see all the configurations what we have done in a pre in the privileged mode that is with the help of command the straight command that is show running configure configuration so what is the configuration of the switch that we can just see like what is the password which was enabled and then the what is the host name given you can just see all the ports which are interfaced with what are the how many number of ports which are connected or interfaces are there or what are the different types of passwords which are set for the switch So here you can see the let me in password and previously we have seen the Cisco so we can still more set the passwords for to enable the switch or to configure the terminal so here we will use one more command as config t or the same it will execute but the method of giving the command can be different so here we will enable one more password that is encrypted one so enable secret so you can give any password as okay then we can just exit so we can just see one more command as show run where you we can see the first service password which is encrypt encryption host name second password and this is the password which we had given at last which is which will come in the form of encrypted one now let's see by enabling the switch so when we enable and exit we'll get whenever we have to give the whenever we give the password then only we can get the access for that particular switch so first of all we have to give the first password which is let me in yes then we can just enable it then it will ask the next password wherein we have to give the password which we have set second one that is cisco and then we can give so second password is it's a secret which was encrypt encrypted one okay so this is about setting the passwords now we can configure the message of the day banner like we can say as motd message of the day for the switch so here we can go for again the configure the terminal so here again we will use the config terminal
then we can use the direct command as a banner MOTD which can be written what message we have to write or for configured of the switch we can write into the inverted commas and write this is a secure system please take permission to log in And then we can just say as exit so it is configured again console by console now we can just use the command as show run so here we can see all the passwords host name the encrypted password then one more password and all the interfaces and here you can see the banner message So here you can see when we use the enable or I exit from the switch it will just ask for the return key then here you can see that this is a secure system please take permission to lock it. So here there will be the question to ask the verification that is the password what we have set. Out. so here we can give the password let me in we got the password then the second password for two-step verification here we can write this then the last is encrypted password that is it's a secret what we have given the password here we get the all the password verification and then we can configure or log in into that particular switch okay. now we'll see how uh, this configuration can be saved into the file to nvram just we can use the command as copy running config with with one more file name as startup config just we can press the enter so you can just press enter whether it is asking destination file name startup config so it is building the configuration you can use this command to see the file in which we have copied whole configuration that is startup config just by using show command show startup config it will show the whole configuration file that what is the first password which is which was set in that is uh, what is what is the host name then this encrypted password the second password to step called verification password then here you can just see all the interfaces and the message